Good day and welcome to today's COVID-19 update for Tuesday, October 26, 2021. In today's episode, we get the latest vaccination numbers and find out why it is important that children take the COVID-19 vaccine. Following up on yesterday's conversation, you said that there was a slowdown in the vaccination uptake among children. From your assessment, what do you believe might be the reason for this slowdown? I guess we have to continue um, going into schools, working with the Ministry of Education to make sure that we are uh, getting to the, to the children um, of the right age group. So there's the, the children who are in school, but technically some of them are not attending school right now. So that's a difficulty in, in getting to those children. And then there are persons who have dropped out of school and are at home. Uh, so you have these uh, two groups of people, if you like, that we still have to find ways and means of reaching them. Our approach has been that once we go to a school, we open it up to the entire community so anybody within that age group can come to the school that we are operating in and they can get vaccinated. And we have seen some of that, but in other cases, um, I think the people felt that only the people who are going to, the, to that school can come, and I think that has caused some confusion. So. We are trying to work with the folks from Ministry of Education to correct that so that we, we can appeal to more people. We have to encourage more parents um, whose children have not been vaccinated to ensure that they bring them to one of these sites to get vaccinated because we still see a lot more children who need to be vaccinated within this age group. And then, starting from next week, we're um, already examining the possibility of doing the vaccination for the 11 to 5 age group, uh, because we are anticipating that the US FDA would approve the vaccine, Pfizer vaccine, for this age group as well. So we'll have another cohort of people that we'll have to work on. When we were at the height of the COVID-19 surge, the last Delta surge that we had, um, I think as a additional precautions, we stopped taking in patients to do elective surgeries. Uh, because in hospital setting, these can, it can be challenging if you have infectious patients uh, with COVID in that hospital setting, then they can infect the other people. So, we took it as a precautionary measure, but now, as you would have noticed over the last uh, couple of weeks, we have seen a drop in cases. The hospital is going to start, um, well, they're going to resume doing elective surgery. And that, just to make, make sure that people are clear, we were doing surgeries, but it's emergency surgery that we were doing. So if somebody come in and they needed to get surgery, um, and it was an emergency, then that surgery was done. Elective surgery is when um, a person would come in on a scheduled uh, date and they'll get that practical surgery um, done on that date. As of yesterday, we've had 378,533 persons who receive a first dose COVID-19 vaccine. That now takes us up to 73.8% of our adult population. Uh, for the uh, second dose, we've had 238,902 persons who have received the second dose. That's now 46.6% uh, of our adult population. Um, in terms of the Pfizer, which we've used predominantly with children, uh, we've had uh, first dose 26,966 uh, persons who have received that vaccine. That's 37% 30, of that age cohort. So as you can see, there's still a lot more people who need to come out and get vaccinated. And then for second dose, we are at 17,489 persons who got their vaccines. 
So that's 24% of, of that age cohort. You have been watching the Daily COVID-19 update for today, Tuesday, October 26, 2021. I'm Natasha Smith-Thomas. Thank you for watching.